All right, we're gonna build the Y stage assembly. So I have all my parts here. What I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go ahead and punch all these out really carefully. Alright, and we take our magnets and we align them all the same direction. We're going to stick a bolt on one end so we know which end is positive and which end is the negative. And we have a bunch of little holes here in both the Y, y stage and the build platform. And we're going to go ahead and stick uh, 10 magnets in these 10 holes. So let's go for it. All right, no lie, that was a little difficult. I had to use a little screwdriver to widen the hole. It's probably all the lacquer and varnish and whatnot. So, all right, now these magnets need to be flush against this side, the side without the writing. So we're gonna use a small tool and push them all the way down so that they're flush. Be careful not to break them. They feel like uh, neodymium magnets, so, well, obviously don't use anything that the magnet's going to stick to. Alright, toothpick, non-magnetic, much better. So now we're just going to press all these, make sure your piece is nice and flush on your surface. And we're going to press all these so that they're flush with the table or the bottom of the piece here. And then when you've got those in place, you're going to want to add a dab of super glue to hold everything in place so it doesn't move. So I went and bought some new super glue just for the occasion. All right, got that all done. You know, again, what they don't tell you, and it's a little too late to do anything about it now, I guess you should use a gel type super glue because this ran through, ran through my nice pretty wood. So make sure you use a thicker super glue if maybe you managed to watch this video before you made your own. Yep, sure did. Yeah, so make sure you use a thicker super glue and we're gonna let those dry and then we're gonna come back and 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 continue the build. Alright, so after all that's glued together, these pieces should kinda fit together just like that. And they should go all 
nice and neat. They should be all flush. You don't want it, you know, wobbly or anything. If it is, you want to smooth it out, or if you have to move the magnet down to get it all flush, then so be it. But those should fit just like that. So we're going to go ahead and continue assembling the Y assembly, and we're going to take this plastic little piece here. And the instructions tell you to use these M16 bolts. And I also have, I don't know, what were these, M M10 bolts, I believe. Well, I don't know about your kit, but my kit came with an extra, extra piece here. So I have an extra wood piece and an extra plastic piece. I went ahead and refinished my wood piece just because I was doing it. Anyway, so, well, in that bag, they came with a different screw. And I don't know what this one is. If that one's a 10, if that one's 16, what is this one? Maybe a, maybe a 12 or something? Whatever. They're, of course, they're all a little bit different sizes. So, I'm going to go ahead and use the screws from the, the secondary set because they fit a little bit better. These are a little bit long. These don't fit at all. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, the spare ones. So here we go. 